By now, you will have heard a lot about generative AI and the impact it is predicted to have. But what actually is generative AI, and what do we need to consider as researchers about its outputs and its wider impact? Put in its basic terms, generative AI refers to machine learning models that are trained on existing data to create original outputs such as text, videos, images and data in response to prompts. You may also come across the phrase large language models or LLMs, which refers to a type of generative AI that deals specifically with text-based content. LLMs are trained with a huge amount of data that is then used by tools such as ChatGPT to create content. There are a range of different challenges AI poses for us as researchers and as a society more generally. One of the major problems with generative AI is bias. Because of the way generative AI is trained, using datasets containing hate speech and offensive labels, the outputs reflect these prejudices, amplifying stereotypes about race, gender and sexuality. Hallucinations occur when generative AI tools create things that don't exist, which is obviously a major problem. One study found that when used for literature searching, 66% of papers provided by ChatGPT did not exist. With some chatbots sharing or selling personal data and others not letting users delete their personal data, it is important to check privacy policies, check settings and be cautious in what you share. As with all online technologies, generative AI consumes electricity to power data centres, with electricity consumption potentially doubling by 2026, leading to an increase in carbon emissions. Given the need to sort and code data, generative AI tools also rely on a degree of concealed labour to train them. Artist work is used to train generative AI, resulting in outputs that make use of their work without their consent. In this guide, we cover everything from critical AI literacy to key tools and resources, and we take a look at how it may be able to help you with your literature searching should you choose to make use of the technology. Don't forget too that we also provide access to Kenius, a tool that uses artificial intelligence to suggest relevant articles based on your written work or on articles you've already discovered. As always, please refer to your tutor for guidance on what is permitted when it comes to using AI and make sure you are familiar with the university's academic integrity and academic misconduct policy.